I have a customer request for how to create a line string from points that come from a station offset report. What I have here is a Microsoft Excel file. And the way that you need to set it up is it has to be a comma separated value CSV file. And the header on row number one has to be uh, TBC Excel. And then all your data will come underneath that. So uh, column A is point name. Column B is a station. This is the offset to the right. So positive would be um, just a 12 to the right and a negative 12 would be to the left and elevation and description. We're going to bring this into business center through the import command. So we're going to go to the home tab. We're going to go to import. And it's going to browse out to your hard drive for that file. So I already have it pointed to the correct folder. If you don't hit the button and it will allow you to browse out to your hard drive and find the folder where your CSV is located. So I have it already pointed there and I want this highlighted file, this HAL with ID and it, it knows that it's a station offset elevation because of that TBC Excel header. Okay, if you don't have that, it's just gonna think that it is a um, northing easting elevation type file that you're trying to bring in. So when you get that highlighted, come down to the options and you have some options here, create points instead of stored cross sections. Okay, so I wanna say yes to that. I don't want stored cross sections from these points. You can do that if you want to, but I just want regular points I do want to read in the point ID so you can say yes or no. So this does have the point ID and that will come into play a little bit later and leave these dependent points. No alignment. You can leave this to auto um, mainly because there's only one alignment in this project. If you have multiple alignments in a project and you want to associate this with one, you have the option here. So all your alignments will be listed here if you have multiple and you can choose which one you want these points to be associated with. So I'm going to leave it set to auto, have my, my file selected, and I'm going to hit import. Okay, so you're going to see here that the points come in, and they do have a surface attached to them. So they come in, if you, if you select this, there is a surface that's associated with these, and we can just turn that off. Um, if I want to, I can go to my Project Explorer, and I could just delete this because I do not really need that surface. So I can even delete that out of there and I don't have to worry about it. So you can see that my points came in. Um, they do have the elevation associated with them and the feature code should be edge of pave. Okay, so this basically followed. It's a 12 foot lane on stations that I want to create a line out of this. So instead of, you know, picking each point one at a time, I can use this command. If you go to the CAD tab, it's called connect points and the, the actual command is called line string from points. So you can click on that and you can name the line string if you want to. So we can call it EP uh, right or something like that if we want to. And we can choose um, what layer we want it to go on. So I could just put it on, say, a boundary layer if I want to or an edge of pave layer. And I want to select the points. Um, that I want to create this line from. So in this case, the reason why I numbered these in succession is so that they would connect very easily from, you know, the down station to the up station. So I can go in here to the options. I can select by layer and I could just choose my points and you'll see that all my points are highlighted on that layer and I can just hit apply. And now I have a line string that goes from point one all the way down to the end of my alignment on point number uh, 58.